presentation about my LDs, um, and let's get this show on the road. Um, the many uh, disabilities that I have um, are basically auditorial and basically uh, spelling and reading. I'm also going to talk about um, some LDs that affect your learning, but is not considered fully an LD. Examples of these are OCD and PTSD. First one we're going to talk about is dyslexia. Dyslexia, if you don't know what it is, it is a um, processing disorder um, that basically uh, when you're reading something, it flips it when it goes into your brain. It, um, it's very hard for um, basically to understand um, how text is um, being presented to you. It, it also affects how spelling works because it does the same thing just backwards again that's one of the main things that dyslexia influences us and how it affects us during our daily lives um, there is going to be uh, PTSD next PTSD really affects me as a person when it comes to um, learning it, it causes a lot of stress anxiety um, a lot of um, uh, it affects how I could uh, present myself each day. It, it's a very emotional, excuse me, a very emotional um, disorder, and it affects how I just go on. It affects my limitations on time. So that is about PTSD. These are the uh, tools I use on a daily basis. The main, uh, the main uh, three we're going to talk about is notability, X mind and Kurzweil. Notability is a recording software that I like to do during a presentation uh, take, while taking notes. It's really easy to use for the iPad. It's really um, it's a great overmind tool. Xmind, I use it for papers. It's really good for um, just overall just brainstorming. Um, and then Kurzweil is what I use to substitute my dyslexia and it helps me it reads back to me so I can eliminate the, um, the um, processing of my disorder. Um, where do I study? I usually study in my room. It's just a common thing that I do. It's really easy. It's nice and quiet usually. Um, it's, I, I can only study in like quiet areas unless it's something that has to be interactive with people. If I'm not inter, um, usually if I'm interacting with someone, I just don't do my homework. It's just something I do. That's where I usually work. <laughs> okay, so getting into my personal life a little bit. Um, I usually don't eat until 12 p.m. only because I don't wake up on time usually, and I wake up like an hour before class. It's a bad habit, but that's just what I do. Um, I usually eat eggs in the morning, and um, sometimes I just go straight to lunch and just go to the dining hall and go home. Uh, do I exercise? Not really, <laughs> to be honest. Um, the most exercise I probably get is walking back to the co-op every once in a while. Sometimes I do that twice a day, sometimes I only do it once a day. It really depends on the day. Um, activities. I love photography. Um, I love it. It's a passion of mine that I've always loved. Um, it really helps me express my emotions, and it really helps me get my point across. If I can't communicate it through words, I can communicate it through images. Um, I also love walking. Walking, I just like, it's like going on hikes, going on walks. It's just, I don't know, it's relaxing. Um, my goals for um, after Landmark are to get a master's degree at ICP, which is a photography school in New York City. I want to get my AA here and then advance onto my BA, SA. Um, I want to manage my PTSD and um, focus more on time management. 
Uh, time management for you, ugh. time management for me is a really, um, it's a really hard thing for me personally. Um, it it's, it kind of like controls my life uh, to a certain extent. And another thing is, I would like to be um, more enthusiastic. I feel like that's something that we can all do. And that is my presentation.